Welcome back. Time check is 641. Thyroid disease affects anywhere from 10 to 15 percent of the population. It also causes thyroid cancer, which is the fastest growing cancer right now. Here to talk about the disease, the symptoms, and how you can get help is Dr. Simone Scumpia with Austin Thyroid and Endocrinology. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you very much. Good morning. Good morning to you. So just this last week, a family member was telling me that they have thyroid disease and so many people don't even know that they have it. Why is that? The symptoms are very, very diffuse, and you have to understand that it regulates the energy of the body, so it participates in every single cell. It's a very small gland. It's right here in the neck, um, and we, don't, we can't feel it very well. That's why it's important to feel your neck from time to time. And we all push ourselves. In other words, um, we, we try, if we are tired, we try to do more. If we are depressed, we say, okay, it's going to go away, it's stress and so on. Uh, the symptoms can overlap the, the depression, weight gain, irregular menstrual periods, and so on. Mm -hmm. So some of the stats, of course, we mentioned 10 to 15 percent of the population is affected by it. More than half are unaware. It's the fastest growing cancer, and it can increase miscarriage risk. Pregnancy complications are very common in thyroid problems. That's why it's important to have your thyroid checked before you get pregnant. Mm -hmm. And remember that it can also participate in the, in the IQ of the baby. So that's the best you can do for that. For sure. What are some other side effects to thyroid disease? You may have irregular heartbeat if you have a high thyroid. Uh, it can lead to osteoporosis, which is thinning of the bones. Uh, it can lead to problems with coronary artery disease, high cholesterol, and so on. Uh, it's a very, very generalized disease, and that's why it's, it's difficult sometimes to make the diagnosis because it can affect from top to toe, um, and you wouldn't know to think about thyroid problems. And most importantly, are there treatments out there? What do you do if you have it? You have the thyroid hormone if you have a low thyroid. It's one of the safest medications um, available. Or if you have a high thyroid, then you can use medications or you can use radioactive iodine. Remember, if you have a thyroid nodule, 50% of the population does have nodules, so you want to always have a second opinion if surgery is recommended. Very few of them require surgery, actually. Mm -hmm. And on the front end, is there anything you can do to prevent it. I'm sure family history plays a role. Like you, you might know, okay, I've got a greater chance of, of developing this. And then secondly, something I forgot to ask earlier is, does it affect a certain age or does age even matter? Age does matter. Uh, it's you know, more, a more common disease after the age of 50. Uh, it's more common in women, but men are affected as well. Um, and uh, it's, it's a very common problem. As I said, 20% of the population will have it. Mm -hmm. So, Well, Dr. Scumpia, thank you so much for joining us this morning morning. Some My great pleasure. information. We'll have it on our website as well. Of course, it is also Thyroid Disease Awareness Month, which is right. one of the big reasons we're talking about it this morning. So thank you so much.